Hey, guess what, everybody? <clears throat> week six is over, and uh, oh my god, we'll start talking about week seven in a few minutes, but I don't know what steamrolled through this file, but that was the nastiest week of ugliness that we've seen all year. Let's break it down. I guess we can start at the top. There are a few positives. My lock of the week, the skins. Managed to not blow it at the end of the game. Almost they tried. They did win. So we are we are six and zero through the first six weeks. We got to pick a team for this week. We're gonna do that by the end of this video. All right. So somehow we won that game barely. I didn't sell you too hard on the Houston game in the video. They did win, so the second highest percentage also won. All right. So that's fine. Two and zero. Good. Now here's here's where it gets ugly. Sunday night. I, this was like a second lock of the week of the Broncos over the Giants. I was like, there's no way the Giants are going to go in and win this game. Denver, under, un, as you can see, Den, Denver underperforms point-wise by 14 points. The Giants, let's hear the Giants, look at that, six, right? Let's move this over a little bit. The Giants score six more than we thought. It's over. The Giants win. Boom. So that's done. Now, the Chiefs, my other lock of the week. Oh, my God. Terrible. Uh, who would have thought the big – I watched Antonio Brown catch a ball, like, between two people and then run into the end zone. He was so gross. He's so gross. <laughs> He's so awesome. So, uh, yeah, Antonio owns me. That's right. Well, he owned the Chiefs, and this was a killer. I really thought the Chiefs were going to – boom, bam, destroyed. I told you this game was going to be screwed up, so at least I warned you here. Uh, it's funny. I would actually say, you know, bet the opposite of what the file does. So the Ram if you had the Rams, you would have won. So I'm going to give myself almost a yes for that. Uh, the Ravens and the Bears, I told you to watch out for this game. And look at that. The Bears won that game. So I d uh, two things I warned you on, at least. The Titans beat the Colts because the Colts are terrible, as, as pointed out. Now here, this sucked. Now, you know, notice Tampa Bay came all the way back. They were down a lot, and they still made it 33-38. I think they actually had the ball. It was close. Anyway, poor, poor Tampa Bay, Arizona, I guess, holds on at home. So that sucks. Missed that. Pats hold off the Jets. Fine. Falcons blow a 17-0 lead in the first half or something, right? To the Dolphins? What the hell happened there? I don't know. That sounds like funny business. That sucks. I mean, I think a lot of people lost that game. A lot of people had Atlanta. Uh, Oakland loses on a last-second field goal to the Chargers. Fine. Oakland's just getting destroyed lately. The Packers lose Rodgers, even though I warned you this game was going to be tough. It ended up being tough for the wrong reason, and, and Minnesota takes Green Bay, and that's a killer for Green Bay the rest of the year. We've got to take that into account when we look at them in the future. Phillies won on uh, Phillies. <laughs> the Eagles won on Thursday night. And then the Lions and the Saints... Yeah, I don't know. I, I Don't ever put your faith in Detroit, I guess. And then, of course, they'll probably win next week. All right, so that was awful. That was like a 4-9 and nine week or something. or Yeah, 5-9, 5-9, and nine, and nine, I think. I, it was awful. Here's, here's the totals over here on the right. It's just brutal right now. So I went 5-9 and nine at 36%. It's the worst week of the year. Even worse than week three. Weeks that are divisible by three are terrible. We'll, we'll note that for week nine. But as for week seven, let's rebound. Let's rebound here somehow. It can't get worse, right? So we here's what I have to I have to pay everybody back who, who bought the file throughout the year if I don't hit 75% for the year. In order to do that, I can only lose 2.3 games, 2.4 games per week. Between two and three games a week, I can only lose and closer to two most of the time. That sounds impossible, but we're going to try to pull it off. Um, we've only got 26 losses left. So how are we going to go? Let's let's go freaking perfect. Let's call it right now. We're going perfect in week seven. How do we do it? Well, let's discuss what's happened. All right. Okay. So from top to bottom, this is what the file's kicking out based on you know the pivot over here, looking at just week seven. Reverse engineering this, I can only get it up to 79% anyway. Which means I'm I'm screwed, but whatever. Let's let's see what we can do and try and try to win. So if we look at the points we go, this is what it looks like. You've got the Chiefs as the heaviest favorite over the Raiders. I do like that. I think the Chiefs coming off the loss of the Steelers are gonna want it. I'm gonna give that a one ranking. That makes sense. 
let's hit that. Now the Jags and the Colts. Now I have a problem p predicting the Jaguars based on my past. I never know what they're going to do. They should beat the Colts here, but I don't like this as a high ranking because I don't trust the Jags. I'm actually putting them down to like a four. Then you've got Carolina and Chicago. I do like that even though Chicago's been playing better. Um, that's like a two or a three. Titans over the Browns. That seems really good. That's like a two also. That could even be a one. These these two games are two. I don't know who I'm going to pick as my pick of the week. I was thinking about this before as I was going through this. I'm still not sure. Seattle and the Giants. Seattle should beat the Giants. Giants somehow beat the Broncos, but Seattle's a better team. This is like a two or a three. It's about on the same length as Carolina versus Chicago, actually. So are there going to be crazy upsets here? What's well, going to happen? Um, Rams and the Cardinals. The Rams should beat the Cardinals, but I have trouble predicting the Rams, and I had trouble predicting the Cardinals last week, so I'm actually going to put that down at a five. Uh, Cowboys should beat the 49ers. Yeah. Yeah, that's like three. Vikings, okay, so yeah, I don't know about this. Now, the Ravens are, are, are iffy. Vikings are tough. I can't lend this more than a five rating. I should up these fives. But I'm going to start changing some numbers around in a minute. Eagles and the Redskins, that's going to be a really good game. That's going to be a good game. I do think the Eagles are going to win. Based on, they just don't have the... I do think they're going to win. I'm going to give that at least a three. Maybe even a two. I, I do think they're going to win that game. Steelers uh, should beat Cincinnati. Should they? I don't know. I don't trust that at all. I don't know. Hmm. The check marks and everything. Are, i got to change the numbers around. I'll show you in a second. Let's start doing it right now. This is like an eight. This is like a nine. Uh, this is like seven or six. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know about that. I, I want to put that. I don't like predicting Jacksonville. Um, Broncos and the Chargers. Yeah, wait. Hey. Uh, oh, man. I, I guess that's probably going to happen. Buffalo over Tampa Bay. I do think so, but. I bet there's. I feel like an over in that game for some weird reason. Buffalo's at home. Oh, I do like that better than a lot of other stuff. I like it better than Denver over the Chargers. Pats over Atlanta. Interesting. Hmm. Pats over Atlanta. I don't know. You'd think there's going to be a lot of points in that game, if, unless Belichick has cleaned up his defense. I don't know. I don't know about that at all. I, I don't know. Saints and Packers. So now the Saints. So now all hells, you know, all bets are off of the Packers. Nobody has any idea. So I don't know what to tell you there either. Um, I mean, it's funny that the it's funny that the Saints are favored over the Packers anyway. Even kind of with most of the season stats of Roger stats being in there. So I'm I'm surprised. I guess the Saints are stronger than I thought. Maybe. Um, I'm gonna. Go, We'll see in Miami and the Jets. Miami, pro oh man, I don't know. Look at that. It's predicted score 17 17. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I think Miami's got more heart, especially after pulling off a win against Atlanta. I'm going to give them some heart. I'll give this game like a like a five. But at, at a six, I, anything can happen. I have no idea. Any of these games I really don't want to predict. I don't like this Pittsburgh Cincinnati game. I, I think this is scary. I do not. And I think Pittsburgh is a 26% favorite. I do not trust that at all. I think that's going to go anyway. Um, okay, so that's about what we got. So I, I, things you, you like here, I like Kansas City. I like Carolina. I like Tennessee a lot. I like Seattle. So if, if you, you know, let's try to hit at least, at least these four games, right? Now, how do you look at something like this? I wanted to look up a team for a second. Say, why, why are the Saints... Why are they favored over Green Bay when I thought Green Bay was paying really well? Well, look at the first six weeks, and we're going to look at the Saints. And it will show us that they've played, I guess, five of those weeks. And over to the right, 
Looks like they're three and two, and they've won their last three games, including wins over Carolina, shut out Miami, destroyed Detroit, and they, and they only lost to the Patriots, and they lost to the Vikings in Week One, a team that's not bad. So that's why they're favored, and and that's interesting. So, um, God, we got to go like perfect this week. I don't know. Can we do it? Can we do it? Almost, you know, I actually want to call. I'm going to make it now. I'm saying Cincinnati wins this game. So, my pick. So, I'm going to I'm going to note things like teams I'm highlighting that are against this in the file. Because if you buy this file, you're going to basically get refunded at the end of the year. Because there's, there's, how am I going to hit 75%? It's almost impossible. It's really tough. I got to go 14 and 2 or something, or the equivalent of that every week. Weird. All right. I think Cincinnati's going to win. I think that it's, this game scares me. It's in LA. I, I, I actually think Arizona is going to win this game. I'm calling Arizona. And then I do think Jacksonville should beat Indianapolis. So I'll leave that. But, but it's, something's going to screw up in that game. Um, Minnesota over Baltimore, probably, probably, oh, don't want to go against this. this game is in Minnesota, I'll leave it, I guess, Patriots, Saints, Dolphins, and Jets, I think it's going to happen there, let's hope to get lucky, okay, so that, that's what I think is going to happen, I'm calling it upsets, and at least in my file, I haven't added in lines. I kind of don't want to add in lines because I want to make this for fun. Oh, yeah, i got to make a pick. My pick, man, I think that it's either going to – I can't choose Kansas City. It's either going to be Carolina or Tennessee or Seattle. You know, the, Cleveland's been so predictably terrible that i got to choose Tennessee as much as I'm really, really scared to choose a team like Tennessee, wherever they are. Are they even an option? So I'm going to choose them. I'm scared a little bit, but I'm going to choose them anyway because Cleveland is so predictably losing, and Tennessee does have somewhat of an out. Let's just double-check Tennessee real quick. Through the first six weeks, Tennessee is two is 3-3. Three and three. They are always putting up points, except against Miami, a team that has a decent defense. In Houston, I guess, wow, that was a weird game. Are they are they going to lose to Cleveland? I mean, they're putting up they're putting up enough points to beat Cleveland's team. So I'm going to stick with that pick. Tennessee is my pick for Week Seven, and gosh, we've got to do better than this. Let's go 15 and 0, please. All right, so let's try it. Go to kenbramer.com, pick up the file because you're going to get your money back anyway.